So on this boat, we put in a ring grade Sony MEX 72 Bluetooth unit. This unit drives uh, two satellite speakers in the main salon, which are supplemented by Kenwood subwoofer. This is kind of a self-contained powered subwoofer. It's really only about 75 watts. Ultimately, it was designed to fit under a car seat to supplement that sound. And it simply plugs into a 12 volt receptacle. And driving the cockpit speakers is an inexpensive four channel amplifier which I bridge to two channels putting out approximately 120 watts RMS per channel now. These drive the cockpit speakers which are a pair of kicker six and a half inch two-way speakers mounted under the seats here, one there, uh, surprisingly full sounding outdoors in the cockpit, uh, I guess power rules, punching 120 watts to them, um, certainly fills out the sound quite nicely and the uh, bass is actually uh, pretty good uh, for the cockpit. They also will crank up pretty darn loud. A big consideration when you're on a boat is how much power you're using because you could be either docked and using shore power, no issue, or you could be out using your battery or generator power, which then it's an issue and you want to conserve. One thing that we did is we replaced several of the conventional light bulbs with LED lights, which are much more convenient and much more efficient. And so we have this wonderful gooseneck in the galley, and we replaced it with an MR1650 watt equivalent. It is one of my favorite lights because if I'm doing the dishes, I can scoot it over here. If I'm cooking, I can scoot it here. It's just a wonderful light, and now it's more efficient, and I don't have to worry about how much power it's draining. Additionally, we have several puck lights that we replaced. So our puck lights are um, all over the place. This one here is in the salon, and it is now having an LED equivalent. They were either single or dual connectors, and we looked at um, various light bulbs. So we'll tell you that Amazon has some great values on that. We also try to keep things pretty much original. So we love these little gimbal lights that came with the boat. No matter where you are in your boat, no matter what your angle, they'll be straight because they're gimbaled. We had to do a little cleaning on the shades, but we also replaced their light bulbs with LED equivalents, and so they are now much more efficient. And although we like to keep things original, we did replace some. So if you'll follow me into the Pullman cabin, I will show you what we did replace. So we have these nice little lights here. They are not original. They're a little more um, modern, I'll say. They're LED, of course. They swivel and all that kind of stuff. We've got two of them in here. And then we also replaced the one in the aft cabin. And I am saying aft. Um, so that is something that we added that's not original. There's a puck light behind you that we converted to LED. I don't know if Steve wants to scoot around and show that. This is our Pullman where we sleep and do other things. Um, this is where the action is. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm thinking that's about it as far as replacement. We still have several fluorescent lights. They're great as well. Of course, they're not as efficient haven't quite decided what we're going to do with those, whether we replace them or keep them, but we've got several excuse me, fluorescents, and now we've got LEDs to um, supplement. Also, um, it's great lighting. 
of course my favorite lights are those that are hooked up with the stereo system that are psychedelic and moving.